story is going to be about my great grandmother called Edith Kessa. She had four husbands. Um, I don't remember the name, who, but I know that one was Joseph Bloomberg. So she took that name and she had my granddad and my great uncle. My granddad had my dad, who had me. I am your grandfather. I am the uh, father of your father, Ramon. And uh, I was born in Australia. I grew up in England and I live in New York. I was born in Austria, in Vienna, after the First World War, after the First World War. And basically, the story is about how she escaped, how Edith escaped from Vienna to England. 1938, the Germans marched into Austria and they took it over. So she knew that the Germans were going to come, so she had to go, she has to, to leave. So she put an, an advert on the news saying that she could be a dressmaker for somebody in England. I had asked in, on an advertisement from the Daily Telegraph and she promised to send me a permit to England. So it was a permit to come, come to England, which I did get and I could go to England. Now the question was, you have, a permit was not enough to come to England. You ha also had to get a visa to say that you could come. It was the Kristallnacht, they call it the Kristallnacht. A French guy in, in Paris had shot a, a German official. And they, to make it, to, to revenge themselves, they, they arrested all the Jews. What happened was that the Nazis, and there were Austrian Nazis, came to all the Jewish houses and they had made a note of all those Jewish houses. And they had a list and they came and they took every, all the Jewish families out of the houses. They were in the streets, they had nowhere to live. My father was in prison on the Kristallnacht on the 10th of November, For 1938. How yeah. For how long? Till I found him. I found him about a week later while I was staying with my aunt and uncle, and they had thrown the nuns out of a convent and put the, the Jews in. And out of the two, there were, the house was three stories high, and the first two, two, two floors were sent to uh, Theresienstadt or Buchenwald, and the third one was left go. And by then I had already found my father and told him where my we were. Was on the third floor? My father on the third one. So that was quite lucky. And he was very badly beaten up and treated. Um, Eventually, he was released and he managed to find where his family was because my mother had visited that place and given him clothes and told him where they were living. In fact, they were living with um, my great uncle Adolf and his wife. And it was I who got the key back to go back into the flat. And how did you do that? I had to go to, uh, to the official place where the Nazis hung out for the area. And I've seen quite a few nasty things happening there, but they didn't, nothing happened to me, and I got the key back. I was a pretty girl. They didn't do anything to me. That's why I was not afraid of them. One day, she was 18, and she was walking with a group of friends on the, in the street. And she passed along um, kind of outside the hall, where um, all Jewish people were scrubbing the floor with toothbrushes. And you saw all the old people crawling around on, the, on, the, on their hands and knees trying to clean that hall up. And the Nazis standing there laughing, having a good time watching all the old people cleaning. And I said to one of my friends, let's go and find if we can take over. I had no fear of them. And I went to the Nazi and I said, we would like to take over and, and finish this off. And by then they had already been fed up with watching the old people go and they said, OK. So we all took a bucket and we've cleaned the hall out. And when we cleaned the hall out and I came out, there was a man standing there, an old man who had been relieved. And he said that was a decent thing to do. So I said, of course, think nothing of it. We are younger than you are and there's nothing to us to clean the hall out. Well, what the hell? And he said, what are you doing? And I said, I haven't got a visa to go to England. I have a permit, but I haven't got a visa. And I can't get a visa because there are not enough visas given to people. <laughs> he said, would you like to accompany a, ch a children's transport? Two days later, I, I, I 
my passport, one suitcase, I arrived at the train, train station. And there was this big train going to England with all children. So I was an accompanist of a ch children's transport. They call it kinder transport. But in Liverpool Street Station, we all were picked up by the people who were going to look after the children. And there were all people, English people from all over, over England who came to pick up the children they had made contact with. And I was picked up by the lady who gave me the, uh, the sent me the permit. Oh. So that is how I came to England. <laughs>